Okay, just a quick review now. As you recall from the last two videos, if we have x and we times it by x, what do we get? That's right, x squared. Alright, just like if we had 5 times 5, that's the same thing as saying 5 squared. The only thing is because we have two numbers here, we'd be able to go on and say it's 25. But with x squared, we don't know what x is, so we have to stop right here and just say x times x is x squared. Now, um, we've got another situation here where what if we wanted to add? What if we wanted to say, what is x plus x? Well, that is not x squared, okay? x plus x is the same thing as saying one apple plus another apple is two apples. So 1x plus another x is actually just 2x's, like that. Notice there's now a coefficient in front of the x, as we talked about in the last video. So if we have this, 5x plus 2x, what would the answer be? Well, it would be, add them up, 5 plus 2 is 7, and x plus x is not x squared, it's just x. Okay, so when you add up an x, you just get 2x. When you add up 5x plus 2x's, you get 7x's. Now, that is multiplying, and this is adding. I want you to look over here to a question like this, where they might say to us, what is the area of this figure here? And you'd say, wow, I don't know a formula for this. But then you stop and say, wait a minute, this is x and this is x, so this has to be a square right here. So you just draw a line across, you just draw a line across, and then you go, okay, x times x is x squared. I just multiplied it. And then over here, we want to figure out the area of this rectangle. I just had a student go by, by the way, and so I was a bit distracted. I'm still outside the school here. Okay, anyway, 3x times 5x, well, 3 times 5 is 15, x squared. So what's the total area of this thing? Well, we know that there's an x squared up here, and there's a 15x squared right here. We have to add those two things up to tell us the total area. So you'd end up going x squared plus 15x squared. And that is equal to, can you tell me? We're just adding here, so it's just going to be x squared but what's going to be in front? What's going to be the coefficient? That's right, 16. Because there's an invisible 1 right here. Okay, so 16 x squared is the area of this entire shape. Now notice we just added up two, thing, two, uh, two things, two uh, x squareds, I guess. And when you have two x squareds, you can add them. Um, those are called, actually, there's a special name for it. They're called like terms. Okay, like terms. They are like because they're both squareds. What about this? Is 5x and 2x like terms? Yes, they are. Because it's just an x and another x, and that gives us 7x. If we have something like this, and I better write it with a different color because I'm just uh, wanting to quickly show you this before the end of this video. If we have x squared plus 2x, there's nothing we can do here. We cannot say we have 2x squareds here. No, we just have 1x squared, and we have 2x's. There is nothing we can do here. So these are called unlike terms. Just like over here, these are called like terms, and these two are called like terms. All right? So if you can remember that, that would be fantastic. Good luck on your next quiz.